watch it later. That's lovely. So I'll start recording now. Um, I'm now going to share, I hope, my screen. Here we are. Can everyone see that? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Right, so Katie, I'm just um, going to do the front cover. If I can, I need to put my glasses on for this. I can get it to do the presentation. Here we are. Right, so Katie, um, I'm just on the front cover now. Yes. Do start whenever you'd like. Oh, right. Well, thank you very much. Yes, thank you for organising these talks. And uh, everybody, happy Pat St. Patrick's Day. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about these stations, West London stations, by Mark Cazalet. And I really do uh, really want to hear your thoughts as well, because they are quite unique. And um, yes, they are, they are very unusual. And so... It would be good to hear what you think about them as well. Uh, they were actually painted um, for the millennium, and it was the Methodist Church wanted to encourage original art by ideally young people for Lent to be placed in various churches and hopefully continue to do this every Lent. And they commissioned 13 young artists to produce their own interpretation of the stations. And this Station, this um, group of stations is how Mark Cazalet imagined the journey based on places around where he lives in West London and in present time. And they're all, they're 15, all oil and linen and 35 by 45 centimetres. Now the cover shows Christ crucified, but we'll actually go back or forward to the first station, which is Christ sentenced. And um, I think you can see it now. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, now this um, is a. It's actually a horse ring under the A40 intersection in London, and it's just a bit dim, but I think you can see it. It is um, Christ standing in front or before Pilate, and Pilate's washing his hands, and then there are people all around the edge of the ring who are not really concentrated. I mean, they're just lounging around, so it's not very serious. And um, actually, it does remind me very much of a bull ring where the poor innocent bull is killed for sport, because it does really look as though it's a sort of sport. Um, perhaps I can have your questions or your thoughts. There's something about the, the lowering flyover mm. as well, isn't there? That yes. There's a real yes. sense of menace. It's, um, it's very, it makes it very dark when it does really suggest gloom and um, being very ominous. Yeah. And this is, I mean, a lot of these places are familiar, aren't they, to anyone who knows West London? This is the A40 flyover. Yes, I mean, I don't actually know this very well. Um, I've probably gone mm. past it, but so anyone who knows it yeah. would appreciate it. I, I think if I've got the right place, I think there's a roundabout under there that he's turned into this yes. ring. Yes. Yeah. Does anyone else have any thoughts? It just reminded me of the, the Lowry paintings of the, the matchstick men. You know, they're all quite lean, the people in the circle, mm. but the spectators are, um, are more well-bodied. Um, and also I find it very bleak, very mm. bleak and dark. Yes. Can you hear that, Katie? I think... I, I can just about. Yes, I can. Oh, great. Mm. That's really good. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 
So shall we move on to the second yes. stage? This is Christ takes his cross. And um, I think you've got it up on the screen yeah. now. I think you may think, where is Christ? So it's on the right hand side. Um, he's, he's bending over. He's behind the trees. And there are people there, presumably soldiers. And then on the left, there's a sort of type yob type just sitting there. And it's just very desolate. This is near Wormwood Scrubs, Erkham's Old Road. And it was an area built by German prisoners of war. And it's actually very nice. Mm. Of course, it, it would, the trees are bare because, of course, we're coming up for Easter. Yes. Mm. Any comments? Perhaps somebody knows this area. Well, I think not somewhere you could go to for pleasure, I wouldn't think. <laughs> One would scrub. I, I don't, I don't. <clears throat> what Christ, he's, he's just bending over because he's lifting the cross for the first time. Yeah. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know the area, but uh, I, I was just on the brink of, of saying something about the previous one that applies to this one as well. I'm very intrigued by the um, way that the lands, the urban landscapes are what are, are dominating in these paintings and, and, the, uh, and the figures are small, even more so in this one. I'm just, I, I'm not quite sure what to make of that, but I'm just intrigued by it and what, and you know, the, there's, there's very little sky in either of these first two, just hints of sky, but a lot of sort of fairly, somebody else said, fairly bleak urban landscape with the figures in there. I don't know, it gives a... Yeah. Well, I'm sure Mark Cazalet, from what I know, would have very eloquent <laughs> theological reasons as to why he's done that. I'm just trying to work out what they might be myself. Uh, they're just causing me to ponder at this moment. Yeah. It's like... Jesus is, um, you know, a prisoner in this case, you know. But I think the darkness is really, it's about, it's a dark day, isn't it? <laughs> really? Mm. Mm. Uh, the but event so, is dark. But so many conventional yeah, stations of the cross. Um, so many it was, I mean, uh, it was early in the morning, wasn't it? When yes. he started the journey. Mm. There's a hint of a sunrise. Yes. There's a lightening at the end of the road. Yes, that's right. Um, is, there, well, is there any... Yes, I mean, I'm there... trying to work out exactly what time he did start, but um, it was very early. Because they had to finish the crucifixion um, by noon, didn't they? Mm. I mean, it looks to me very menacing and brooding and so almost like a, a murder is about to be committed. And I wonder if he, he had that in his mind, the artist. Yeah. Um, that it was, um, sorry. That it, that it, 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 yeah, it feels as if a murder is about to be committed. It's got a sense oh, of menace. Yes. Um, well, I think he's... I mean, it is a very um, Wormwood Scrubs. It's <laughs> not a very nice place. And um, obviously, German POWs, they couldn't have been all that happy. So I think the area, it is meant to be very gloomy and ominous. Mm. Why do you think the uh, man on the left, who's loitering, if you like, is in a pool of light? That's exactly what I've been thinking. And I that. I can't think, um, yeah. Well, um, it, I know that Mark wants to say overall that, in fact, the people, the other people, not Christ, but the other people, are far more important, definitely, than the fact that he's been crucified and he's the light of the world. And that you see in the later ones, that really he is a tiny, tiny figure. He's not really important. Mm. Quite interested mm. in the, the fact that this is the, the taking up of the cross and we've got a series of crossroads. Mm. And, and at the front, at the very foreground of the painting, it's as if that there's been a, um, 
the road priority has been changed as if they've done road works and painted over the give way on the mm. left. I was thinking, is yeah. there, I mean, I might be reading too much into it, but a sense in which kind of at this point in the story, he can't, you know, Christ can't choose another way. Um, there's only one way now to go. But I just, they, they do, they suddenly struck me. They're yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Way, he's tarmacked over. Um, yeah. And there's the choice is no longer there for him. It's, it's I don't know. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 Although yeah, the road would be going the other I don't know, but it's just a, yeah, it is a series yeah. of crossroads, isn't it? Yeah. And it's a one journey, definitely. I just think, um, you know, sorry. Sorry, Caroline. Yeah, I just think that um, the Romans, it, you know, it, it wouldn't have been that significant to them, you know. Um, yeah. It's obviously a significant event, obviously, but... No, to them, it, the thing is that, um, you know, it wouldn't he, have been because there's crucifixions all the time. Your mark doesn't fit in with <laughs> what the Bible says sometimes. Yeah. Quite often, no. really. um, and so, in actual fact, there were loads of people, weren't there, um, around and haranguing him mm. and some being very kind to him. Yeah. And um, here, um, there is... No, what? Well, he's there with a small group. We can see, but really, the street is empty. But of course, it would be, wouldn't it, at that time of the morning? Yeah. yeah. And the and the main figure in the painting, in terms of size, hasn't even noticed. Mm. In, no. in, 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 a, in a in a way, it reminds me of uh, Bruegel's Fall of Icarus. In that, uh, you in order in to even notice Icarus, you have to, it's just a little detail whilst life carries on around. Yeah. yeah. And in that sense, yeah. uh, it, you know, it's, this is a bit like this. If you hadn't said, Katie, I wouldn't have even known. I wouldn't have even known that Jesus was in this painting. Yeah. That's so true because I've been looking at these paintings over the weekend, and I was trying to spot Jesus. It was like a, a kind of sacred. <laughs> Where's Wally? <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah. Really strange. Shall we tear ourselves away and move on to the next one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um, this is where he falls the first time, and um, you can see that you can see this is very visible and uh, in broad daylight. And he's lightened up. He's sort of saying, "Yes, you can see this happening. This is in broad daylight." And Christ, you can see the wheels from the whip on his back, and he is um, he's just um, flat out, and there's. A man with a football top on, at least I think it is a football top, I, th I believe mm. it is. And he's just got his foot on the back and he is just bullying him and hitting him. And uh, again, it's not in the street, it's, um, it is actually going across, um, and what, again, Wormwood Scrub, but in the more uh, and sort of open field. <coughs> um, it shows, I think, every, in everyone, he wants to show the cruelty of people and the fact that they have no idea who he is. And even if they did, they probably wouldn't bother. Mm. Except they mm. probably would, because the Jewish people are very, very religious. Mm. I think some people just want to be bully anyway. Yeah. It's, it's actually, I mean, if it were not so horrible, it would be quite a pleasant picture. It's it's very sort of light. There's there are there's a rugby pitch, isn't there, to the mm. to the right, and a, a very light, as you say, very sort of pleasant appearance to it. It's got that kind of insouciance about it, and yes, then this I horror going on in the foreground. Of the prison, oh, no, right. it wouldn't be of the prison, would it? But it, it's a sports ground of the hospital. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I missed the beginning. Um, what are the dates of this man? You know, when was he born and is he still alive? He's still alive. Katie, yeah. I don't know, do you? I'm in oh, visiting. Oh, sorry, uh, I couldn't hear. Is that, you want to know if Mark is still alive? Yes, yeah, so what when he was born, roughly. Oh, yes. He was born in 1960. 
two or four, I can't remember, mm -hmm. early 60s. Mm -hmm. And so okay. he was, it was done at the Millennium, so he was mm -hmm. um, uh, nearly 40. Yeah. Yeah, my maths is not very good. Yeah. Yeah. 1964, he was born. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. his 50s. He um he had already. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. He had already done quite a bit of work, um, depicting themes from the Bible, New Testament and Old Testament. Uh, in in a modern way, in a you know, I mean, he did um, Mary and Joseph arriving or trying to get into Bethlehem through the um, the wall, through the path in the wall in the um, Bethlehem wall at, mm. at um, Christmas, mm. and he also did one of Mary and Joseph with a backpack with Jesus in a pack and on the Cairo underground mm. and he did quite a few others actually so he'd already done quite a bit yeah yes and he has exhibited in several cathedrals um oh yes he? yes yeah. he has this particular station has been to quite a few places churches and cathedrals yeah isn't it interesting how uh we've got greenery on the trees here in contrast to the one that preceded this, this looks like spring. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yes, that's true. It feels like a different season. Yeah. Even though it's so searing. Mm. <coughs> Are those vultures in the sky? <laughs> or, am I, or am I getting mixed up with the Stanley Spencers from last week? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're quite big, aren't they? Is it Battersea Power Station in the background or a mock-up of it? I think it's a hospital. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know this area. I think it's a hospital. Right, OK. It's, it's, the it's, the it's, comes later. it's not Battersea Power Station, I can tell you that, having, yeah. lived, very, having lived very near to that uh, particular mm. construction. <laughs> Which has now changed out of all recognition, hasn't it? Actually? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And who can I ask another question? Who would buy these paintings? I mean, I quite dislike them actually, but um, who would buy them? Were they commissioned? I'm sorry. Yes, uh, um, June was just asking if they were commissioned, and that you were saying, weren't you, Katie, that they were commissioned at the Millennium? Right. Yes. Well, yeah. they were commissioned the before, but it was for yeah. the millennium. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. As, a, as a part of a young artist's series. Right. Yes. Well, they also wanted to, they felt there just wasn't enough modern art, religious art around. But in fact, before that, in in 1960s, they had them um, produced what was called the Methodist Art Collection. You may have heard of it. And there's some very mm -hmm. fine pieces, very beautiful pieces. And they show them every now and again. I think the last time, well, I, the last time I went anyway, was a few, quite about four or five years ago. But they do bring them up. They are very fine pictures. I think there's the very famous picture of the feeding of the 5,000 as fish and chips. Isn't there? And that's, yes, that's part of yes. the Methodist art What collection. is the collection? Yeah. We were looking at that in our Bible study group a little while ago. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That, that painting, uh, Catherine, uh, um, that was quite interesting. I liked that. And there were all these little mm -hmm. figures, do you remember, dotted all over it and the baby yeah. laying on the mm -hmm. um, little rug. But these I find very gruesome, actually. Mm. Um, mm. Mm. It's rather different subject matter, to be fair. Yes, yes, it <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah. 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 Shall we move on to the next one? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There we are. Okay. So, okay. Right. Um, right, you're looking at Kenzel. 
Kilburn Station. Kilburn mm -hmm. Station, do you know Kilburn Station? It's um it's a very uh, I've ever been there, but it is a very fine, big station. And um he actually he, he, this is you see where it's a bit difficult because he falls but not necessarily because of the cross he's carrying. I don't well maybe it is, no, maybe it is. And then um, in in the scriptures, it says that they, poor Simon of Serena, was actually coming in on the from the country, told to help Christ. It, but um, I think it implies here that he did it out of his own kindness. I don't think it really matters. Uh, well, it does, but I don't think it terribly matters in the picture because he's helping Christ. And whether he's told to do it or not, in a way, it's not terribly important. But maybe I've, maybe that's just my opinion. It's that very um, visceral sense of descending yeah. with all those steps. Mm -hmm. and yes. Mm -hmm. Also, I think there would have been a lot more people. Um, but yeah. he's chosen to, to not people his theme very much. Mm. He's not really a people person. No. And again, the people around not really bothered. No, the man in the front, mm. well, he looks as if he might be getting a ticket or something. Yeah. But mm. uh, no, well, and, and Mark sort of is always observing, you know, how. People don't bother about mm. when people yeah. have problems or are suffering. They, they just don't. Yeah. The Good Samaritan is very rare. Yeah. Any comments? I can't get very excited about these because I think you can't. I know, I suppose the, it's leaving the viewer to um, make up their own minds about things, but I'm not, you know, this imposing figure in the front, we're not sure what he, who he is and what he does. And it's really hard, especially on the screen, to see what's going on at the back, you know, yeah. where the person's yeah, fallen. Like, um, that is true. That is really an observation, very worthy observation. Hmm. Quite, yeah. Hmm. He's the artist to be telling us what he was aiming at, really, <laughs> to be able to understand it, don't we? What was in his mind, you know? The sense of, of Christ being quite hidden and quite difficult to decipher, I quite like because it, it sort of, it's a bit, it sort of illustrates, I think, what, what it is like in our you know we go about our daily lives and and yet this story is kind of unfolding um all the time again and again and i kind of yeah i quite i quite like that um uh, yes yeah i agree it's 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 as if although you know this story is essential to our faith it's not central yeah. to many other people and mm. you know London is yeah. just going on sort of thing and, and 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 you know although this is obviously an incredibly important story for us it's not seen as important in the pictures is it <laughs> yeah absolutely and and Christ is kind of like a, a, an every man isn't he in them as well he, um and I find it really challenges me to think, well, how much would I have bothered yeah. if I'd mm. been there? Yeah. <laughs> it's very easy to bother now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but sometimes really one doesn't know what's going on. No. Does oh. one? No. No. Hmm. Shall we go on to the next one? Yes, right. This is Kensal Green Cemetery, and Mary, you can see she's in just an ordinary modern jersey and skirt, 
and she's hiding, well, she's standing anyway by um, a, a stone, a funereal stone, and um, she can see him being dragged through, and uh, but she can't do anything, obviously, uh, because this is not quite the, the story, but I think Mark was, he, he took this from the fact that the Bosnian Civil War was going on, and he, and it was so dreadful that these mothers could see their sons and daughters being killed all the time, and they couldn't really do anything about it, and it was just um, so tragic. And I think he was very moved, he was very moved by this, and so he put her in the graveyard where perhaps, you know, many of the, of the, well, it reminded him of the Bosnian situation, mm. just this distance and you can't do anything. Mm. I think this is, again, gloomy, but it's, um, it's very, I think it's very clear, though, do you think? My attention is drawn to the um, what I take to be an empty gasometer mm. in the background. Yeah. And a very strange yellow sky through it. Mm. Yeah. He's, he's lost his clothes again. I noticed in the last one he was clothed. Well, mm. and the one before that he wasn't. Well, yeah, this one it's not. always questionable if he's clothed or not, because he just sort of does these figures, and they, sometimes they seem to be clothed, but they actually, you know, you see the clothes, but sometimes mm. it's just figures, like yeah, not that stick men exactly, but that type of thing. Yeah. Or perhaps other people, you know, the other people see him as, because it's only Mary. Who is um, is deeply upset. Mm. In fact, um, Mark put in about Simeon told Mary a sword would pierce her heart, and perhaps this is um, what it was that she would see Christ and she wouldn't be able to do anything about it. Mm. I think it's interesting. Well, it's not quite strictly true, is it? According to the. Um, Testament because she she followed him and was there at the crucifixion. Mm. June. Yes, sorry, I was just going to say I think it's interesting that the he has kept the traditional blue for Mary, who is often painted. Yes, yes, that's her colour, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. so that you would identify. But I mean I've never thought of her as having grey hair, which is I um I always yes. thought it, 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 he appears in with blonde hair. Did you remember yeah. when he's being bullied and beaten by yeah. the young man at the, in the first fall? Oh, uh, yeah, he gives it, but I think he just makes it. Um, I think he's just taken it out of Jerusalem uh, and he's just moved it into London. And Mary's got blonde. Well, she actually she would have been um, what she would have been about fifty something, wouldn't she? So anyway, mm. she she is blonde. Yeah. Mm. And it is a kind of um, inversion of the biblical of of the traditional station, isn't it? Which is Jesus meets his mother, mm. and here yeah. he's passive in it because it's. Mary sees Jesus. It's the other way around. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Mary sees Jesus. I mean, she's almost hiding because she, as though she doesn't want to see the state he's in, I think. Can't bear it. Yes. Yeah. It's very dramatic, isn't it? Yeah. Very dramatic. And the detail of all the the um the tree and the funereal monuments and the post stopping people driving in. I don't know the cemetery at all, but 
Oh, she's so sad. It's very sad, this one. Yeah. Right, we go on to, say so we're on to the next one. Um, yes, which, hang on, is... Uh, this is the ramp. The, yes. Mm. Um, he falls. Yes. Oh dear, I got them. No, I haven't. He falls a second time. Oh, Have you got right. him falling? Yes, falling right. down the ramp with the um, dog in the foreground. It's yeah. Harrow Road footbridge. Mm. And he's kicked down the slope. All the detail is amazing. Mm. Again, there's a passerby. <coughs> Excuse me. A passerby walking his dog. Taking no notice, you think he would take notice of that, mm. but a um, few people sort of watching. He's really, I mean, the man kicking him, I mean, he's really going for it, isn't he? I like there's a seat, this the fact that the CCTV camera is pointing down at the yes, river mm. and it's missed the. The yes. main fence as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> really no one noticing at all. Yeah. No. No, it's um in a way it does speak to us, doesn't it, Barry? It says, look, all this is happening and you were there or you, you could have been there. Yeah. Yeah. And, this and I mean you know, it, it just is the way we are, most yes. of us. And so many contemporary themes in it. It's very rich in terms of its themes, isn't it, in each mm. picture, really? Yeah. Yeah. But his attention to detail is amazing. Yeah, and I love the water. Yes, mm. yes. No, yes, it's um, almost looks like a shroud. It's got it's kind like of suggestions, a, like a shroud. It's got sort of suggestions of yeah. a figure mm. in it. Mm. Yes, mm. yes. Nobody's looking out of the windows or anything like that. No one is interested. Mm. Right, I'll move us on to. The next one, so we're at the fruit stall now. <laughs> yes, this is rather nice. <laughs> this is a, a friendly one, except, um, and of course this is definitely London with the underground and the stall selling tomatoes and bananas. And the child, I don't know, I think it might be a little girl, mm. is, he's dark, he's, he's in the front, but he is dark. Mm. And uh, the child is sort of being friendly towards him, and the lady is holding out her arms. And you know, they it's, it's very nice to see that in the streets, an awful lot of people actually were sympathetic and um, or tried to be friendly. Mm. And then, of course, what is sad is that, of course, he's saying, Well, yes, but don't weep for me because. Um, you know, your time will come and, and you know, you will be sorry to be alive. Mm. Yes, and this is the women of Jerusalem, isn't it? Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, you know, I thought that when he said that, I thought, well, he's saying sort of, well, come up and, you know, your time will come. But I don't think he was. I would think he was sad that they would, you know, suffer mm. later. Mm. Is he, he look? Is he blindfolded? Trying to work out. It's hard to see on the screen as to what's happening. He does look blindfolded, doesn't he? Mm. Yeah, and handcuffed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can't see those, can you? It's a very dark one, and I think it wouldn't have been so dark in reality. Mm. It's a pity mm. it's dark. It, I think it would have been. Actually, better, lighter. Mm. Because after all, they're selling the fruit, which means it's day. Mm. Yep. Mm. 
Yes, I noticed in the station that the clock was saying 20 past one. Mm. Oh. It really? No, I haven't. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, well done. <laughs> Good detective work. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting that it's bananas that's being sold. Um, I don't know how much for, but I guess the growers of those bananas in Africa would have received a, a mere pittance for them. Mm. Yes. So, um, yeah, I think they would come from their own country, wouldn't they? In Jerusalem, yes, they are very cheap, yes. Mm. I think it's the, um, no, there is another, yes. Justice element. So we go on to, we're now on the oh, underground. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I, I don't like this one, but I, I do, because I think this is absolutely, you know, the way it is on an underground. I mean, you, you don't look at anybody. And um, here, he's at the bottom, and he's, he's protecting his head. He's fallen over. And they're just really, really indifferent. And they're right on top of him. But I think, again, the faces are very interesting because they're all different types. There's mostly men, mm. but a few women, but mostly men, and in different types of clothes. And and they just, when they, as far as you can see, there are people. And there he is. You know, nobody even knows he's fallen down. No. Again, a gloomy one, a gloomy one. I'm just trying to work out what the time on the clock is in this one. <laughs> it looks like it might be something like 20 past six, but I don't think it can be. Oh, yeah, yeah it does. Where, where is, I can't, I can't even yeah, see, can't even see. Right the back. Yeah. Right oh, on the yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not oh, yes. the, 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 the central line, which yeah. of course is a wicked one, isn't it? The yeah. Back, yeah. Back. <laughs> yeah. That's it. It's the circle line. I've just got a magnifying glass up. Yeah. Yes. Yes. One minute to go. One minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So we go on to, I love this one. And this one yes. is the, the penguin pool at London Zoo, isn't it? Yes, I was going to say this is a nice one, except for the fact that, um, you know, uh, it's the stations. And um, yeah, Veronica, it's over on the right. And he, uh, Veronica is trying to wipe his face with a blue oh, yeah. Eye. Yeah. Mm. and she's obviously quite short and she's reaching up to him I thought that was rather sweet mm. so she can't just sort of put it on on the same level she has to reach up to him and of course deeply symbolic and then but again there's a man with a balloon a, a sort of birthday balloon with a little boy and um, looking up the penguins although we don't see it. I can't see any penguins. And, um, one. There is one. Just the one, just the one, as far as we yes. can. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's a very nice one, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are, there are more. Yeah. Sorry. Is that a red balloon? Yes, I think it is. It's like a, a birthday party or something, isn't it? Yes, yes, it could be because there's the balloon. Yeah. Why do you have a kind of trip to the zoo? So life goes on, you yeah. know. Yeah. Life goes on. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
And again, this really interesting water. Yes, yes, um, it is. And um, you, you feel it is water. Yeah. In so many of these paintings, the root ways are the focal point, aren't they? You know, from the very first one with the and the railway, and then the second one where the road is the central thing. And then we've had the, the underground train track. We've had the ramp. Now we've got the penguin, you know, route. I mean, it's all the route ways <laughs> are the focal points, really. On yeah. the the steps in the in the Kilburn station. Mm. Yes. Mm. Oh, that is a nice one. Mm. So right. the next one is uh, yes. Jesus is stripped. Yes, this is um, under the West Way. Uh, it's Latimer yeah. Road. And it's yeah. quite dark there. M40. And men, not the soldiers, men are stripping him. M4. Oh, M4. Taking yes. um, the blue clothes, cloth. I don't know what, it, I think it's shirt or something. And they're jeering and mocking him. But of course, in, in reality, it wasn't the soldiers who did it. And they cast lots, of course. For his robe. Hmm. There's a lot, he uses blue a lot, dark blue, turquoise blue. Yes, and the sky's very blue, dark blue in that one, isn't it? Mm, yes. Yes, he's, um, he is very, he, he uses colour, uh, perhaps not so obviously here, but he does use colour enormously. Uh, and, and rich colours, you know, he studied in India and exotic countries. And I think when people have studied there, they always come back with a very, very rich palette. <laughs> they, mm. they like it. Um, they use colour very mm. firmly, very forcefully, I think. Yeah. Why? Anyone have any thoughts on that one? Just to pick up on what Claire said about the previous one, we've got yeah, we're covering pretty much every kind of routeway or form of transport through these paintings. <laughs> and with the uh, with the mo with, with, this is the first time we've had a motorway, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Even the little paths of the penguin house uh, yeah route ways aren't they yeah. Yeah, we've had, so, so we've had such a variety yeah. of, uh, of routes and and streets and ways an awful lot of them rather empty even mm. a penguin even a penguins <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this is the only one that, that I can remember has got more he artificial light. The buildings have got their lights on, and there are street lamps. Yes. Mm. Mm. It's got that sodium kind of yeah. One is the focus on. Mm. It's the it's, first time that there's such a direct focus on Jesus, actually. Yeah. yeah. Mm, absolutely. The picture. This one. We're yeah. not. He's not hiding. So it's actually the first first one we've seen him like that. Mm. I mean, if you didn't know that was Jesus, you might think, well, that's a portrait of a common scene where men, in this case, and a man is being attacked. Mm. Mm. Yes. If you took it out of, you know, out of the stations mm. of the cross. Mm. So it could be Jesus as every man. Mm. Mm. Going on to the next mm. one. Which is the metal, yeah. yes, it's the... a metal <clears throat> scrapyard. Mm. And he is very clear, he is 
very centre stage here. He uh, he's being nailed to the wire, the bar yeah. of the wire, which um, protects the, the metal scrapyard. And um, that is a sort of it's very uh, dramatic, I think, very dramatic and detailed. And it, well, it, it's now, it, you know, we can see his being, it's very strange because he's being nailed, but this is not the actual crucifixion picture. Mm. So there's no, nothing in between. Mm. Oh, what's he got in his hand? Yes, that's and really unusual, dark. isn't it? Yeah. He's dark, very dark in the front, and the man nailing him, well, he's a workman, and he's also very dark. Mm. It's, only, it's only just one man doing it. Mm. Mm. I think it's just really saying he's on the scrap heap, and he'll be melted down and used for something else. Yeah. Which, I don't know if it's sort of symbolic, really, that he disappears or he is melted down, uh, whatever, but then he lives again as something else. He comes back. Do you think? Yeah. I mean, it's just an idea. Maybe it's not really very realistic. Yeah, and maybe, I don't know. I was just thinking about, you know, unless a seed falls into the ground, is that, that kind of yes. sense of, yeah, having to, to be thrown down in order to be recreated? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Hmm. We go on from this one to the, this is the actual crucifixion, of course. And yeah, really unusual to have them separated like this, the being nailed and the being crucified, isn't it? So this is the yes. one with the tree. Yes, because um, there's no break in it in, in the real thing, was there? Yeah. Well, here... We, he really, we see the first time, really, the full body, because apart from the first one where he's being sentenced and he's at a distance, here he is much closer up and he's on the lamppost and under a very healthy tree. I mean, I, I think of it as the tree of life because it's, it's, it's very green and fruitful and um, mm. hanging over him. But it, and there's no yeah. cross on the cross. Mm. It, it, he's just hanging up. Yeah, it's really strange. He's not nailed on this no. one. No, no, he's not nailed. He's just hanging over him. And, um, oh, this is Brewster Gardens, if anyone knows that. Mm. It's a quiet street. And there's a suggestion of another tree mm. on the right, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Stylized. Yes, a very, um, green, a very, yeah. Mm. Yes. See, he does use his dark colours very... What, that bit? Yeah. Effectively, yes. Mm, looks like somebody... Can, no, that's, that's and the light of the... He's got legs, look. It's in front. It, actually, mm. it, it, yes, it isn't really, because it's the evening now. That is and the... And he's... Um, look, he's got a face and he's got, carrying... Ah! Oh, no, no, that wouldn't... It is a man, yeah. No. He stayed on the cross, didn't he, till the evening? 
Yeah. And there's so the this way. Is the street lighting coming up. And the way it's arranged makes it look like rays coming from him. Yes. It, yes. So he is the light of the world. Yeah. And the street lighting is sort of competing with him, mm. competing with it. Who's this fellow coming in under the tree, other tree? I mean, so many ways you could look like Sorry, the, the figure under the other tree? Yeah. Yeah. With a briefcase. Yes, yeah. Yeah. It's a shadowy figure emerging. Mm. Going to work, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I... Yes, but yes. I thought it was the tree, but now I see what you mean. Yeah, no, mm. sorry, no, that's the. Uh, and the figure to the nice. left is oh, actually yeah. noticing him. That is, there is a sort of really. Yes, yes, uh, they are actually noticing him. Which is a first, is it? Yeah. And it's very curious that tree because the the pale green leaves they almost look like birds. Mm. You know? mm. Yeah. Whatever the red is, blossom or but is well, that the way I think that the tree of life is always portrayed? Is, is, is the is the red sky? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. It looks like a red sunset or something. Is it? Yeah. No, because it's that, I don't think so. Um no, no. Not, no. It's it's something that's growing from the tree, I think. Well I, I thought that when we first saw the picture, but I'm not quite so sure now. Oh, unless I'm well, missing the light. The, the light coming from the street lamp. Um, there isn't oh, that that's much cool. light coming from his head. Oh no, there is. There is. That's right. It is coming from him. So what are these then? Hmm. Is this going to be the, that's the other side of the leaf? Hmm. But the sky is red, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Well, there's a lower bit of the red sky on the wall above the other bushy tree. Yes. And that's not that's not the tree. I've I'm looking at it through a magnifying glass. <laughs> it's quite hard to make it out, isn't it? It is very hard to make things out. <laughs> I think he, he wants to give an impression rather than yeah. something very vividly in front of one. He, 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 I think he just wants to get people to think and mm. see what they want to see, perhaps. Mm. Yeah. And then we go on to... Oh yes, this the is really theater. sad. This one, yeah. isn't it? Pieta, mm. and this is Mary with mm. the dead body, um, in great, great sorrow, great grief, outside the walls of Wormwood Scrubs, mm. and uh, and his body is just. I always think this is so natural because. Mm. His body is like stretched over her knees, uh, as it would be mm. if it were a dead body, mm. because it wouldn't support itself at all. Mm. She's in the blue, of course, again. It's dark, this one, but I think very clear. Mm. And you can see the prison That's very inside the walls. And the red sky. Mm. And she's dyed her hair. That's <laughs> huge, <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? She's gone from blonde to... <laughs> this really makes me think of um, gang violence. Yeah. And, and the mothers who've lost sons. Yes, and, you know, they... He, he's dumped and then his mother comes and lifts him onto her knee and uh, 
and then expresses her grief. Because I was thinking... I think is, is, is very natural, so absolutely mm. crushed and worn out. Yeah. June, sorry, um, I was thinking of the Paeta statues, you know, in, in Rome and elsewhere that you see with um, when Mary has Jesus's body on her knee, um, he's laying over an arm, isn't he? But in mm. this one, mm. not, not at all. It's, it's so limp, that body. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then we go, on. go on. Yeah, we oh, go on to there. there we are. We're on to the burial now. Yes, this is very impressive, I think, very dramatic. And um although in fact it's a place where it's it's actually a blow-up bridge on Regent's Canal. Mm. And it's under it's a space under a footbridge where homeless people and drug addicts tend to go. But it does look like a sarcophagus, no, I'm sorry, it's a catacomb. Mm -hmm. It does remind mm -hmm. you of that. And yes, and yes, yeah, very um, dramatic, mm -hmm. almost like an opera, staged, a staged opera. Mm -hmm. And this is where, um, he is Joseph, Joseph um, puts him in the tomb. Mm. I think this is very effective. Like curtains hanging down either side, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. It's very hard to make out anything, to be honest. Under there. Adds to the theatrical sense, yes. doesn't it? It's almost like a proscenium yes. arch and yeah, and the curtains. And a telescope. Is that a is that yeah. a mounted telescope to the left? Mm -hmm. Oh that. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It does look like a telescope, you're right. Yeah. I oh in the background, um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I thought it was a cross. I, but I, um, I can't think that it is. Yeah. I can't think that there's a touch of blue at the, on the left, so maybe it suggests um, looking up to the sky, the blue there, it's, a it's, touch of blue. It is almost see? blue with stars mm -hmm. in, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. So someone is looking up. Yeah. Mm. Shall I go on? We can go on. Or is there there somebody? We yeah, we've is gone on to the, this is the Emmaus yes. road. We're going on to one. Emmaus. Well, this is a really nice picture, um, I think. Just have a quick link, sorry. Across the field. Yeah. Actually it is it's quite near Wormwood Scrubs. It's old oak common and it's off Wormwood Scrubs. You could miss that, couldn't you? And but it does look it does rather look like a road to a mayor's because it's it's a sort of unmade up road, or road anyway, which is certainly not a main road. And there's countryside, and the people walking. How many people can you see? To know if, I think Jesus is with them because his arms are out, and he, he seems lighter, uh, but it could be the one behind, but it, no, it won't be because he actually walked with them. Mm. And there's a beautiful blue. He's really using his colours here. And um, this lovely blue, light blue over fields and then dark. Bigger, isn't it? 
was the evening, wasn't it, when um, they met up? Was it? it was the evening. Yes. Yeah. So, it's almost a, a resurrected view of it. It's almost a kind of, almost an ascended view of it, isn't it? Yes. There's the gasometer again, far left, but it seems to have filled up this time. Yeah. Yes, because mostly when people do the, um, or the, the supper, or the mayors or any, any, it's usually you see the supper and you see Christ in the middle. Mm. Or, I mean, some things are different, but this is just the road, you know, and I think that's lovely. Mm. It gives you hope. Makes you think, yes, yes, mm. there's hope. Yeah. But, but who's the figure right ahead of them on a donkey? What then, yes, yeah. Is it a donkey? On a donkey. On a donkey. The white figure. Yes. Yeah. Mm. When you... He's on a bicycle. He's on a bicycle. Richard, <laughs> Richard, your eyesight is amazing. I... I... <laughs> We're, we're, on, we're magnifying the picture on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not magnify the magnifying glass, really? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think if he's on a bicycle, actually. Is he? Yeah. Mm. Well, if you magnify your screen. That's nice. Because we, we had been concentrating on that lone figure and missed seeing the three together. In fact. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm. but because, and what are those black bits? Mm. The black bits. Are they dogs? Well, I don't no. think that anything to do with one was grasped. No. Yes, okay. They're probably deeply meaningful, but I don't know what they are. <laughs> Picking up on Claire, there's another track again, you know, we've got um, the mm. road, the track. Mm. Yeah, no, it definitely is a, a theme Isn't throughout it? the whole series, I think. Yeah. And there's something, they look like um, those, the things just at the end of the green, there's little white dashes that on the right look a bit like the football or the rugby goals. Is that the same? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it the same play yeah. from the other side? Uh, yes, yeah. there are. There's a lot of them. <laughs> yes, yeah, so just saying that the, the, the white things kind of going towards the gasometer look a bit like those rugby posts again. With, yeah, they do, yeah. don't they? And yeah. on the other side. No, yeah. They're soccer. <laughs> <laughs> got the wrong game. <laughs> yeah, they, do look like, they do look like football. The others were rugby, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Well, take great exception to that, that it's the round ball at the resurrection. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's got it about right. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like this is the outside looking back at London mm. and the resurrection that, you know, that the light has come out of the sky you know what i mean it's almost like jesus has saved yeah yes <laughs> yes. Mm. yes that's good mm. yeah, searching the light is not over jesus it's elsewhere yeah it's over that urban landscape which is where all the other paintings have been set yeah yeah what's the red thing in the sky I want it to be the balloon from the Yeah, I was thinking house. that too, yeah. <laughs> it looks a bit big. <laughs> <laughs> right. no, it's it's there's, there's a little, uh, there's a red thing in the sky, yeah. just to the right of the gasometer, over the tower blocks. And uh, Mary was just saying she quite wanted it to be the balloon from the penguin house. <laughs> it looks a bit, a bit big. <laughs> No, it's a kite, Catherine. Is it a kite? Oh, okay. oh, oh, it's a kite. Yeah. With two strings, you know the ones that yeah. you have? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you look down, yeah. you need to, you have to be able to expand your picture, otherwise you yeah. just can't. Yeah. I don't fiddle with this, otherwise it could go horribly yeah. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad you can. I, I'm, uh, this might sound like an odd... This might sound like an odd remark, but I, I do. When I think back over all of these, 
I'm quite interested in the, this is probably the wrong word, the cinematography. Mm. In that, uh, I mean, associate stations having a similar perspective throughout, but here you've got, uh, you know, the, the figures are different sizes, the camera, sorry, I'm calling it the camera angle, the perspective from which the paintings are painted from is very different. Mm. This is this is a sort of almost like a, from a drone image. And yeah. we've got a whole variety of perspectives from which they've been painted. And uh, with the figures of massively varying sizes. Sometimes you're close up, sometimes you're far back. I just find that quite intriguing and unusual. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I, I'd be fascinated to know if we're walking along that road, which direction are we walking? Are we walking towards the distant are we, buildings? Are we, or are, we, are we walking towards? Are we walking? Yeah. Are we walking? That one's going that way. Yeah. The one on his own is going that way. Yeah, I think we're walking towards. Yeah. So just stop the chat. Mm. Mm. Which way is the bicyclist okay, pedaling? Yeah. The, the cyclist is going. The cyclist is going towards the city. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The other three are just standing having a chat, aren't they? And they're not looking, they're not looking in either direction. Mm. Right. But if they're going to invite him in, it's likely that they're going towards the city, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah. I think what um oh what's here? The, the road to Emmaus was from Jerusalem, wasn't it? Mm. I think. one that's the last one nice to, to have a oh, hopeful, yes that is the last one hopeful end yeah right mm. did he paint them he did paint them all as a piece did he because they you know they don't feel like they they're so different from each other they somehow don't feel like they all go together as a one group if you know what i mean but he did actually paint them as a commission, did he? Well, he did, yes. Um, he painted them as a commission, but he was only paid peanuts. And they, were, they were only paid peanuts. And um, I, um, the, he wouldn't have them separated. You know, if people wanted to buy them at all, he wouldn't, he, he only wanted them sold as a group. So he, right. he did see them Mm. As he may not have done to start with, though, I really would have to ask him about that. But mm. he, um, yes, uh, mm. he paid. Yes, I think he wouldn't. But they got they were sold to um, John and Liz Gibbs, who were Methodists, very sort of leading figures in the church, and they keep them. And then every Lent, they lend them out. Hmm. Well, they may come here. They may come here. That would be good. Well, Mark yeah. certainly did mention on the phone that he'd be happy for us to have them. Yeah. So it's definitely something we could consider. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Well, Katie, thank you so much for hmm. sharing these with us. 
mm. and sharing your insights. And it's been it's been quite different. Well, they've all been different actually, haven't they? These, but this has been a really different one, mm. and um, and really moving. I think to have the the stations, um, and and amazingly, the technology has held up as has the phone line. So. <laughs> <laughs> very thankful for that thank you everyone so much for joining in and uh next week for the last in our series we have pete codling talking to us oh, on yeah. the eve of dante day uh about some dante related art so do oh, join us then thank you catherine thank you thank you Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much.